Konnichiwa, Tiffany Rika this. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a first impressions and one day trial of the Laneige BB Cushion Hydra Radiance broad spectrum SPF 50 plus the sunscreen uh, cushion. I really wanted to go ahead and pick this up at Sephora and try it out for you guys. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. So I have my eye makeup on, but I haven't touched my skin yet. I only did my skincare and my sunscreen. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out. But so we have the box here. I've been waiting to open this for this video. It's been sitting in my makeup drawer for a while now and I can't wait. Oh, I didn't even know. Okay, so it comes with a extra cushion refill, which I very much so appreciate. Um, especially when it comes to cushions, they do tend to run out faster than a foundation bottle. So I really appreciate it when companies do include that in there. Um, as well as this is the cushion. It seems a little bit smaller than a regular cushion size, um, but very sleek packaging. Very typical what a cushion looks like. Nothing too different. I feel like the mirror is a lot bigger and clear, so I really like that. And, oh my god, this is the best. Oh my god, wait, hold on. This is the most satisfying part about cushions. Oh, It has like a weird texture um, on the cushion itself which is interesting. I haven't seen anything like that recently, um, but let's go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna use the, oh, the cushion that it comes with as well as the mirror that it comes with. A lot of product comes in. I'm gonna do one side of my face and then show you guys the difference between that. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of coverage, look at that. And today I'm using the color number 11 Porcelain, which I believe is the lightest shade that they have, which usually I'm, pretty much the lightest shade or the second to lightest shade, uh, depending on the undertone. But I feel like I need some under eye concealer though because the bags underneath my eyes are not designer. Mm -mm. It has a very sunscreeny smell to it, um, which it's not like super intense, but if you guys don't like, like fragranced makeup, I don't know how much you would like this. Okay. So I'm done with this half of my face and looking at it, I wouldn't say it's super hydrating. Like it feels more of like a satin finish than a dewy finish, which it's kind of settling into some of the creases and some of the pores in my skin. Um, I do have a little bit of an acne scar here, which as you can see, it's pretty much covered up. I would say this is like a medium to buildable coverage. So I do like that. I'm just not 100% sure I like the texture of it. Um, I find that, I don't know, I feel like I have big pores and so it's kind of settling into that, which is bugging me right now. Um, but we'll have to see how it you know, plays out for the rest of the day. Um, I do really like the glass skin Korean makeup look and I don't think this is giving that to me. I don't know if it's covering up the redness underneath my nose area. Mm. Okay, so I brought my bigger mirror out so I can kind of see more closely at what it's doing on my skin. I feel like it blends in really nicely to your skin. It doesn't feel like you have this layer of foundation on top of your skin. Um, I would say my skin is pretty moisturized. It's not giving me like the glass skin makeup look that I usually go for, um, but it's definitely an even looking color. Um, I don't see it um, oxidizing at all yet. Yet, um, but it is settling into my pores. Um, coverage wise, I would say it's medium coverage. I do have a few like acne scars that are popping up around here that you could still see with this on, but it seems like a very natural glowy finish right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. So all the blush, the highlighter and stuff like that and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like with makeup on top of it. So I just finished up with the rest of my makeup. I applied a little bit of blush, some highlight, as well as I did go ahead and use some HD 
cover up concealer underneath my eyes as well as the little spots around my chin that have been bugging me. So this is currently what it looks like. Um, I have a few things that I need to get done throughout the day and I'm gonna go outside, take my vlog camera with me and show you guys how it wears throughout the day. Hopefully it lasts as much as I want it to. If it stays like this, I think it's a pretty good cushion, but we'll have to test it out in the city. Let's go. So this is update number one. It's actually been five hours since I last filmed with you guys. But a little bit of an update on the cushion. Um, my boyfriend and I both noticed that there's a little bit of like a separation here. Um, but I didn't use any primer so that might be it. And then under where my chin is, definitely the coloration of like my acne scarring has popped up and it's a little bit dry. But everywhere else looks very moisturized and it looks very even on my chin area. So I'm not too worried about that. I might start using primer underneath it. But that was the update for the Laneige cushion uh, after four or five hours of wear. Mm. Yeah. But I feel like if you really wanted to go for like a cushion that's full coverage and like super moisturizing, I don't know if it's like the best because I already have dry skin as it is. So the fact that like my chin area is a little dry kind of concerns me for how long it'll wear after without touch up. Okay, second update. We're getting a boba right now. But what did you say about my cushion foundation? It doesn't smell too nice. Oh, not boyfriend, <laughs> not boyfriend approved. What about my other ones though? They don't have a smell. This one has a smell. What does it smell like though? I didn't even notice it when I was applying it. No, it smells like the toner I use at night. Okay, well boyfriend doesn't approve of it. I think, hold on. Does it look good? Any... Yeah, no, no, this one smells good in the package. Yeah, I still have the dry patches around my skin, but it doesn't seem like the coverage is breaking down a lot. But I feel like if you're the type to need a lot of coverage in a cushion foundation, uh, probably not. Because I feel like I take good, really care of my skin, and so I don't need too much coverage. My worry is like redness and scarring showing through and dry patches forming, but which is, it's doing right now. So I'm kind of upset with it. I wanted to like it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we came back home and playing a few hours of Overcooked. It has been over nine hours since I had this foundation on and to be honest, I think it looks better now, but I think that's just the oils in my skin actually getting through the foundation and making it look more glowy. Uh, the bottom part still is pretty, if you can see that. The bottom part still is pretty patchy and it's kind of giving me almost textured skin, which I don't have, which is weirding me out. Um, but overall, I, I like this cushion. I want to give it more of a chance by putting on primer underneath. Um, and as you can see, it does really even out my skin tone. It gives a really nice, like almost satiny look to my skin. Um, but I definitely do have to continue trying it out. So that was it for my first impressions and review of this cushion. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really want to go ahead and give this a try throughout the week and see how it lasts. If you guys want to see an update on this product, make sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Instagram and my Insta story will cover that for you guys and I'll let you guys know how this turns out throughout the week. I really hope you guys enjoyed that and make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I film two videos a week and I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Matane! Mwah!